Hey everybody, uh, I'm David. I sing and play guitar in The Orphan the Poet and uh, I'm going to walk you through my gear. Um, so, the guitar I play is a uh, mid-2000s American Fender Telecaster. I played these for a while and it honestly was probably the first guitar I ever fell in love with. Um, my backup is the exact same thing, different color, but still just an American Fender. Um, and it's all stock. Um, Fender does it right. Um, stock pickup, stock pot, stock everything. So I do like the maple neck typically, but other than that, I can't go wrong with a with a telly. And kind of the same way that uh, I just kind of keep it down the middle with uh, the stock guitar, um, volume pot, uh, tone pot, just wide open. Um, and I'm almost always on my bridge. It's got a lot of bite. Um, it's got enough growl still to it. Um, so to me, that's. That's the sweet spot uh, for, for what I do. I play rhythm. So, um, but as far as strings go, I'm an Ernie Ball man. I play the beefies um, for our color uh, dependent people. That's the yellow pack. <laughs> um, that's what uh, that's what I always use. I've used those for years as well. So I'm kind of like if it's not broken, don't fix it type of guy. So like I'm just yeah. I love this guitar. Love love love. Um, as far as picks goes, um, I think maybe uh, I just have a uh, propensity for yellow. I think I'm on the uh, the uh, yellow turtles. I call them the G the Jim Dunlops uh, 0.73s. Those are those are nice and medium medium feeling. Um, but yeah, and right and right here I have my uh, my custom Janus cap. Uh, we had Janus custom build these for us. I don't know the exact year, but he was fantastic. Um, I had previously owned and played through Oranges forever, and I love those cabs. Um, and so I sat down with, uh, with 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 the guys over there, and I said, you know, I love I love the Orange, but I'm really interested in working with you guys. What can we do? So they, they that what they did, they they sat down with an Orange cab, figured out what made that thing tick, and then gave me something that was orangey but still Janus through and through. And so this is fantastic. It has the uh, Celestian Vintage 30s in it, which is the, probably my favorite speaker. Um, and I think what we've wired these 8 ohms, just real basic, but gets the job done. And it looks big. <laughs> it's, it obviously makes a statement on stage. That's, that's what you want. <laughs> okay, so this is my super simple pedal setup. Um, I do sing, so I try and keep any dancing on the pedal boards kind of to a minimum. Um, first thing I hit is my Line 6 uh, G70 is my wireless. Um, on the strap of my guitar, I'm not sure if you saw, I have a, 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 a wireless pack that sends signal here. Um, then it hits my, my tuner, very important, got to be in tune. Um, then I, after that, the only effects I have on the board are the Cry, the cry Baby Wall, uh, which that's just a fun thing, just to mess around with. And then this is actually a custom fuzz pedal that Jake gave me, our bassist. I don't know how old it is, where, where he, he might have picked it up at a yard sale, I don't even know. But he's like, hey, try this out. And I did and I love it. Um, because really the tone that I go for is I always have a bit of bite on the guitar, but this just really lets it fuzz out and just be that big, beefy, just, just man of a tone that you want, you know? So, uh, so that's, a, that's a super cool, cool pedal. I wish I knew, knew more about it, but I kind of like that I don't, it's the mystery. You know what I mean? Just that mystery piece, missing knob, like I'm never going, going to fix that. It's whatever. These are all of our racks. We kind of conveniently, kind of inconveniently put them on this big he heavy case, but I get the, the uh, second bunk here. Um, and this is my Egnator Renegade. I love this amp. Um, I'm pr pretty sure no matter what band I was in, be it this alternative rock band, be it a country band, be it a metal band, this thing could, could take care of me. It is insanely tweakable. On, honestly, probably more tweakable than a guy like me even is, is comfortable with. Like, I'm kind of a bare bones, uh, set it and forget it ty type of guy. And this thing handles me. Even if I put all these up, just straight up and down, but, but, but it sounds great. I tweak it a little bit depending on the room we're in. You know, if it's a little bassy, I might roll this back or whatever, depending on the stage. But this thing is amazing. Um, I'm not sure if they're quite as coveted as some other amps, because yeah, you can you can walk into you know a store and buy one of these, but it's it's awesome. I can, I cannot say enough about this amp. So um, I, I'm a I'm a I'm a double duty guy on stage. I play guitar, but then also I sing, and so I tour with my handy dandy uh, Sennheiser E835 wireless. Um, it's cool. It lets me dance around a little bit. Um, so the times that I'm not playing guitar, I can kind of roam around, I can do a dance. Um, and 
I don't, this is just a basic straight stand, but I always carry my own. Like, I don't know, it's like a superstitious thing. Like, I walk in, this is my stand, this, no one else is gonna mess with it, and I can do what, what I want with it. If I break it, who cares? I'll walk into a store and buy another, whatever. But, uh, but yeah, I definitely like the freedom and just the kind of interaction that this, this puppy affords me, being able to walk out, you know, mess with people more or whatever. But this is, uh, this is, um, this is a fun time for me. Well, hey, once again, I'm David uh, with The Orphan the Put. Thank you guys so much for checking out my gear. Uh, our new single, Still Buzzin', is out now. You can check it on Spotify, and you might catch it on your local radio as well. Um, but uh, yeah, always repping Fender, Sennheiser. Um, they keep us happy, and we love them.